Welcome to Insights Live. I'm Rebecca Selby, joined today by Scott Hayes, SVP of Product Marketing here at Epicor. Scott, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining me. Yeah. I have a question for you about ERP. What trends are you seeing that are impacting it these days? You know, there are a ton of things. The world's changing faster than we've ever seen it change before. And I know that sounds a little bit cliche, uh, but the way that um, software and technology has impacted all of our lives, from what you carry in your purse or your pocket, right, yeah. um, to what your kids are doing online, to what you do every day in the office is, is, is new and fresh and things are changing so fast that I kind of put it in this camp, this, this sort of bucket of the human computer interface, right? The computers are doing so much more for us, so much more than they ever could before. And I get really excited about, I guess I'm kind of a tech geek, <laughs> but I get really excited about how they can change people's lives for the better, how technology can, right? And I think the expectations are higher now, uh, particularly of you know millennials entering the workforce and, um, um, and anyone who has any experience with what technology is doing in the consumer world, they're expecting that in the business world, right? So how does that affect ERP? You know, we gotta admit, ERP is only one part of a business's uh, software or technology infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Um, there are many other touch points that technology is impacting, um, particularly in the, in the um, area of the interface between a, a business and its customers, that omni-channel interface. There are so many different ways to connect with a company nowadays. So we have to think about ERP while being at the core of the business is in fact the heartbeat of the business that then um, radiates out through some of these other touch points that actually impact the customer Number one, yes. and number two, the employees, right? And how can, how can we take advantage of all the data and capabilities that can now be, sorry, packaged into mm -hmm. um, a very small unit of work, a very small interface, I'm, and you know, I'm even doing it with my thumbs here, um, to make something happen, right? We can, and so I, I, I get really excited about what we can put in the hands of customers and in the hands of employees where we're bringing what could have been just mountains of data and oodles of process. You like that? Mountains and oodles. And oodles. Yes. Yeah. It could have been mountains of data and oodles of processes to something simple, right? This is all I need to know right now, but it's informative. I didn't know it a minute ago. I'm really glad, Mr. Computer, you told me this because I need to act on it. And guess what I can? Click, click, two clicks from anywhere. I actually act on it, right? And do something. So what I know now and what I do now makes a difference on, on tomorrow. Interesting. So with these mountains and oodles of <laughs> omnichannel information being yeah, thrown absolutely. at our customers, absolutely. what can they do in their business to prepare for all of it? Well, they do have to keep their ear out for what's going on with technology. You can't stick your head in the sand. No. And, um, and think that you're gonna be here much longer. Um, so it is important to embrace it. It's important to listen to all voices within the company. You know, here at UpCore, we have a, a process we call uh, cross-functional teams. And we meet on a regular basis to understand what we're doing in all departments that impact the customer, right? And it's really exciting to sit in front of a dashboard that says, here's some measures of our business in terms of customer satisfaction and revenue and uh, uh, support, and all those things, and have people from, you know, engineers from development and uh, finance people from accounting mm -hmm. and people from marketing and people from sales all commenting on how do we make it different and better tomorrow for us and for our customers. So what's one piece of advice that you would give our customers to make sure that they are set? Mm. Listen, um, and I mean that both internally, listen to your employees, um, there's turnover happening, you know, and, and there are different um, experience levels coming into the organization. Mm -hmm. We talk about those bright, shiny millennials that are coming in, different expectations. Listen to them, but also listen to the staff that has experience. Been there, done that. We're going to teach these whippersnappers a thing or two. <laughs> they actually have a voice that is important to listen to as well because we need to um, take that to the next generation as Share we bring them forward. Knowledge. Share the knowledge, but don't do it in a way that, you know, you're still doing it the old way because that's the way we always did it. So listen to your employees across the experience spectrum and by golly, listen to your customers. Survey them, call them, interview them, bring them in take notes, prioritize what they say, and then respond. 
they're expecting a higher level of engagement from their cell phone company, from their bank, from their uh, you know, energy provider, and their software provider. All of that has just raised the level of engagement that companies need to have with their customers. And when they raise it to that level, if they actually get on board and make it happen, they'll deliver a much better customer experience. Absolutely, and that's the only thing that's gonna make a difference, I think, in, um, in their business. Is, is being different and being different in the eyes of their customers. Thank you, Scott. I really appreciate your time. Sure. If you have questions about anything we've discussed today or if you'd like more information about Epicor Solutions, please visit epicor.com.